Welcome to the Electronics Basics series. Make sure you subscribe and click the bell icon to get notifications. I'm doing a video every day, so make sure you come back again tomorrow. So today we're going to look at inductors, just very briefly, should be a nice short video. I've got a selection of different ones here. So here is a standard axial type through hole inductor. Here's another one, this is a different package type. Here's just a larger version, could take a higher current. Here is a tunable IF inductor, what used for IF or RF circuitry. And these are used for tuning interstage sections of receivers and transmitters and stuff like that, this particular one. This is quite an old school type, it's a good example of a tunable inductor. In here we have some surface mount ones, about a five inductors. So these are measured in henrys or micro henrys. The label's coming off those ones, as they do. Inductors is basically a wire round device. So this is a great example of a inductor on this circuit board here. So this has got a few of them, so there's a quite large one here. There's a couple of smaller ones here, which is basically a ferrite with wire wrapped around it. Okay, and that creates a reduction in noise or reactants in the circuitry and stuff like that. So they're commonly used in filtering, very commonly used in filtering. Like in this case, this is a common mode filter, and you've got some more filtering over here. These are on DC power supply, so the DC voltage goes through these, and that helps to filter out the circuitry. So you've got a capacitor before the the inductor, passes after the inductors, and that helps to smooth out the DC, getting your noise out of it, that sort of stuff. So, because these work by inhibiting current flow. So if you inhibit the current flow, you can help to smooth out variations in it. And this helps to smooth things out. Like These are also used in switch mode power supplies, buck converters, boost converters, that kind of thing as well, because the inductor is a critical part of that circuitry, because the inductor is what induces the voltage difference in that circuit. So we'll cover that later on in buck converters and boost converters, stuff like that. Also, transformers, right? I'll do a video on transformers later on. This is also an inductor, but this is a special kind of inductor. Very simple thing. Here's yeah, so an inductor is basically a wire wound around a ferrite core of some kind. Not always ferrite, it could be an air core even, it could even be air. Most time it's ferrite because it gives it a better Q, sharper response to the actual reactants that it creates. I'm not going to go into that kind of level of detail. There's a lot of maths involved in that sort of stuff too, so I'm not going to go there. Like I said, I'm not going to cover maths. I'm not a maths person. You yeah, often see inductors used as filtering and in buck and boost converters. That's the modern thing these days, is buck and boost converters, switch mode power supplies. They use inductors. That's just the way they work. Inductors can be used for filtering as well, even like audio circuitry for example. We can use inductors in crossovers in speaker systems. So if you've got a passive crossover system in your speaker system, like in your loudspeaker system for your house, it's probably got a passive crossover in there. Some of that passive crossover is likely to be some big inductors which are there to help strip out frequencies. So they, they can actually inhibit frequencies getting through them. Same as a capacitor. They also have the same effect, but they're actually the opposite of it. Capacitors and inductors are off each other. One will do one frequency as a high pass, and one will do a low pass, and they're opposites of each other. So you often see capacitors and inductors um, as opposite. Like you put capacitors in series, they'll act as a low cutoff, so it'd be a high pass filter. Put an inductor in series, it's the opposite of that. It's a high pass cutoff or low pass filter. Another thing to mention is that some resistors are also inductive. Because a resistor, in many cases, is a wire round device, unless it's a metal film kind or it's like a filmed type resistor, this will be a wire round. Okay, so there'd be a wire wrapped around a core there. So this will actually have some level of inductance as well as resistance. So tomorrow I'm going to look at transformers, which is a bit of a continuation about the inductors, so make sure you check that out.